Mike Wang is back at it, giving us some very important information for NBA 2K20 gameplay. He talks about speed boosting. He says that tier three first steps unlock with an 86 speed with ball rating. Then he talks about the momentum cross that unlocks at tier three when your ball control is also 86. But this is the big change. He's saying that your ratings are gonna fluctuate based on your takeover, which is your rhythm, and your fatigue level or energy, stamina. So if you wanna be able to speed boost, you really wanna have your ratings higher than 86 in both of these categories because you could lose the ability to do it as the game goes on, as you start to get tired. So at the start of the game, if you have 86 ratings in both of these categories, you'll be able to do it. But then as you get to the second quarter, the third quarter, it's possible that your ratings could go below 86 and you won't be able to speed boost. So he's saying, get those ratings up higher. Go to 89, go to 90. Give yourself a buffer so that you can still do it if that's important to you. So dribblers, you don't wanna just go to 86 the minimum and then think you're gonna be all good. Then he also talks about some defensive badges. He replied to somebody's question and he said that Eraser is not coming back, but here are the blocking related badges. You have Chase Down Artist, Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, and Rim Protector. So I'm pretty sure very soon we're gonna get information on exactly what each and every one of these badges does. I'm gonna go to Reddick. Averages.